Hello YouTube and welcome to CM Kozman Podcasts. It's actually my first podcast and surprise I'm going to be talking about dinosaurs again. And for this first show, I just want to uh, vent my spleen, let's say, on a certain topic I've been thinking about. I had this in mind even while writing all the yesterdays, but only now do I get to articulate it for you. And it's about this kind of item mentality that that's the first thing we adopt when we're uh, studying dinosaurs and other extinct animals in popular culture. Of course, you're gonna ask what the hell is item mentality? It's a word I made up just for this case. And it's this particular way of looking animals or plants or fossils as things that have listable attributes. Let's, let's, let me tell it this way. If you're looking at, let's say, a random dinosaur, this one is, what was this called? Pachyrhinosaurus, okay? Any guy, any guidebook you will find, it will say it's period, some million of years ago. Diet, herbivore, family. In the older books, you even had things like order, infra order, sub order, blah blah blah. And okay, this is uh, informative. Of course, it's informative, but it's also familiar to me from a completely different source. I will show it to you right now. I can't show it to you because it's back there. I'm getting it now. Uh, the fuck is the book? Ha! Huh, okay, it's it's back here. I forgot. So, okay, that kind of information listing, just attribute, 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 the item mentality. I'm also familiar uh, to it from uh, Jane's guides to aircraft, ships, tanks and other vehicles made for killing and destroying people or different vehicles. It's the kind of um, fact listing bullet, bullet point mindset that if you know how long it is, how heavy it is, what brand it is, what make it is, is, what year it lived in, you will have had digested all the information about that thing, be it like an airplane or a, a dinosaur. Now, I'm not saying that uh, this approach is wrong, but it, it leaves so much out of our, um, of the way we perceive that animal, that extinct thing. For example, let me just put it this way. If, do you relate to living animals in the same way? Do you say it's cat? Length, 40 centimeters, diet, meat, uh, family, or whatever, day or something. You don't, but why do we keep doing this for dinosaurs? This is on my mind. I mean, let's take a look at this old 90s book. It's, uh, you can see it, can you see it? Dinosaurs, the Encyclopedia of Dinosaurs by, uh, Altered by a lot of people, this book was really popular in the in the 90s. It also existed at, as the dinosaur data book. It was a favorite of mine as a kid. But anyways, now again in this book we have animals presented in a sort of item mentality as well. Like in any book you will find, you will see animals presented this way. With how big it is, which family, which period. And once you assimilate that information, once you once you get those facts into your Pokédex, you will know that animal. But um, I'm saying a different approach is possible. What if alongside these points, we also, in popular culture or popular scientific culture, make efforts to think about these animals in their context. This could be what role they occupied in their ecology or where they fit in in the story of evolutionary development. For example, instead of saying, oh, it was six meters long for, I don't know, some primitive prosauropod, let's say, Plateosaurus, you can also talk about how that dinosaur was discovered, how it has a 
basal position in the sauropod family tree or even changes in its way of interpretation such as you know it was thought to be quadrupedal now we think it's bipedal this whole you should be able to take these animals their life their details in the broader context of ecology uh, history of paleontology and basically the story of evolution anyway so this was my rant against the item mentality let's say and i hope and often i know that in the future we're gonna be seeing more books more blogs more content produced that veers away from this item mentality and tries to tackle animals in a more holistic view in a view that would make more sense to people as identifiable things hope i could get my message across this was my first blog excuse any awkwardness peace out take care bye